Hey friends, I'm getting ready to go pick up our Azure standard order. This is my second order. Um, and I ordered a lot of bulk grains, like wheat berries, so that I can mill them with my flour mill. Um, I got this from Nutramill and I'm so excited to start using it. Part of the reason that I wanted to go this direction is because we're starting to transition to buying our food in bulk to save money um, and just to have it for convenience sake. But buying um, flour is pretty expensive and we don't have a great way to store it. It doesn't last as long. Um, you can put it in the freezer, but we don't have very much freezer space because we purchased an eighth of a cow and then we're going to buy some pork as well from a local farmer. And so our freezer is going to be full. Um, and so purchasing, I did some research and purchasing wheat berries and milling your own flour is not only more affordable, it's also a lot more healthy. And so um, I purchased hard white wheat berries and I think soft white wheat berries that I'll use more for like pastries um, and dessert types of things. So I still have a lot to learn. I'm honestly not amazing at baking, but it's an area that I really want to grow in. My goal is to start making a lot of our own bread, um, but I'm not there yet. So I'm going to take you all along on the journey as I learn. Um, I'm going to go pick up that order in just a bit. And um, hopefully this weekend I'll get a chance to try out the mill and just show you what the process is like with that. my mom's car so that's why it looks a little bit different but one of my friends was so sweet and she helped me um load everything in my car um she was definitely a pro she had like two bags on her <laughs> on each shoulder and i'm like wow that was impressive um because they were like 50 pounds each so or 50 and 25 i don't know um but yeah it was really quick really easy um i do recommend showing up 15 minutes early because i only showed up five minutes early and they were almost unloading the unloading the truck and my mom has my kids this morning, but I do recommend like there were some moms who um, were doing the pickup with their kids and have to pick up whenever like you, it's just whenever the truck shows up basically and you get an email a week in advance or so. Um, so if you have to bring your kids with you, um, she recommended getting like here really early and just parking as close to the truck as possible so that you can just grab your stuff and leave the kids in their car seats and you'll be right there the entire time. I am always late and I had to park kind of far away and it just would not have been ideal with um, a baby and a toddler. So um, if you have kids and you have to do the pickup during the day when you don't have help, I do recommend getting here early. <laughs> walk you through what I got, why I got it, and how I plan to use it. So I'll start over here. Um, these are gamma seal lids that I'm going to use for storing the bulk food in our root cellar. If you don't have a root cellar, I've heard that you can store it in like a cool, dark, dry place. So maybe a closet if you have a basement. Um, there's a lot of information out there about how to make it work even if you don't have um, a root cellar below your house. So um, I ended up picking up some, um, what are they called? <laughs> Five gallon food grade buckets. It's really important to make sure that you get the food grade kind um, from Tractor Supply because I've started kind of price matching things. A lot of things are a lot cheaper as your standard because you can buy them in bulk um, and you get organic options, but there's certain things that um, maybe I don't need an organic op. I mean, you don't buy organic game salads. So something like that, um, or food grade buckets. So for something like that, I've looked for um, local options that might be a little bit cheaper. And I found that personally, they were a couple dollars cheaper each at Tractor Supply, and so I just picked some up when I went there. Um, but Azure does offer them as well, and they have great quality ones I've purchased before. Their gamma steel lids were significantly cheaper than a lot of other places I checked. So I went ahead and got a pack of three. Um, and then I picked up this Montreal steak seasoning. It's gluten free and GMO free. I did find out that it has sunflower oil, so if that's something that you are avoiding, be aware of that. Um, but we purchased beef in bulk for the first time this year, and um, we purchased, we don't eat a lot of meat, um, especially since our kids are younger, but um, I have struggled with anemia off and on and just felt like I was needing more protein in my diet. My kids both really like meat. 
Um, and so we decided to get an eighth of a cow and I'll like update you at the end of the year to see if it was enough. We're also doing um, half of a hawk and so I think that will be more than enough for our family, especially if we supplement with fish. We like to buy um, salmon and tilapia. But I had heard from a different um, YouTuber, I think it might have been Three Rivers Homestead. She said that she likes, I, I need to double check that, but whoever it was said that they liked the Montreal steak seasoning. And I typically season our steaks with salt and pepper, but I wanted to try something that would maybe add a little bit more flavor. So I'm going to try that out. Um, I just got a one pound bag, so um, I didn't buy it like in a huge bulk option, but that should be more than enough for a while for our family. So um, the next thing that I got, this is non-GMO baking powder, and I just bought a pound of the next four things that I'll show you. So um, I made, I don't know if it was baking powder or baking soda. I'm really new to baking, so I honestly like don't know which one it would have been that affected this, but I made zucchini bread with some zucchini from a garden a couple of weeks ago, and it deflated like it went um concave it was really interesting and so it tasted okay but it ta it was like a really weird texture and I was talking to my mom about it because she's really good at baking and she said you're um I can't remember I think she said baking powder might have gone bad and I was running low anyway so I was like I just need to replace it um hopefully that will improve my baked goods and I also bought some organic arrowroot powder that is gluten free um, I was running low on this. I like to use it as a thickener instead of cornstarch for things like gravies, sauces. Um, you can also use it in baking, but I typically use it to thicken my sauces or soups. And I bought a pound of that as well. Um, I got a pound of baking soda because I was also running low on that and I'm planning on starting to bake a lot more this winter. Um, especially in fall and winter, especially as our garden is not quite as busy. Um, I kind of wish that I would have bought a bigger size of this because I like to keep some baking soda in our fridge and freezer um, to keep things fresh or fresher than they would be without it. But um, I'm going to try it out and then maybe next time I'll get a bigger size of that. I love that Azure Standard not only uses sustainable packaging, but also that they have for most of their products, but that they have different size options so you can get what you need for your family and um, if you look on their website they'll also um, show you like the price per ounce or price per pound so you can see how much you would save if you bought it in a bigger quantity okay this one like the string broke off but it looks like it was sealed it's just I need to trim that off um, but these are organic raisins my kids really like raisins I like raisins and we bought um, our last Azure Standard order. I'll link that below. Um, we bought a big bag of oatmeal or oats um, to use for baking, for oatmeal, baked oatmeal, energy balls, homemade granola. And so I think I'll start putting some raisins in that in addition to just basic snacking. But um, I think I probably should have gotten a bigger bag of this. Um, we'll try it for now. So, and I love that they offer organic um, raisins as well um, because we usually shop at Aldi and I don't believe they offer organic raisins. They do have a lot of organic options but some of these things that I purchased they don't sell organic options at Aldi and they're really expensive to get them at like a health food store locally. Okay the next thing that I got is organic spaghetti. I got two and a half pounds. I like to keep some spaghetti on hand um, because my kids like it. It's such a quick weeknight meal, especially since we bought beef in bulk. So um, I can just make a semi-homemade um, sauce with our ground beef. And I like to add some spices and herbs from the garden. And sometimes I'll just get a jar from a jar of um, sauce from our store. And sometimes I'll make it entirely from scratch. So I was hoping to have enough tomatoes from our garden to can sauce this year, but it did not. Our tomatoes have not done well. I'm going to show you something. Hold on. I purchased this at Ikea. I need to refill it. Um, it's been years now, but it's a tall jar. It has a seal on the top to keep it fresh, and I use this to store my spaghetti. It's like the perfect height for it, and I used a label maker to label my things in my pantry so it would be easy to find, especially since I use glass jars for a lot of the dried goods, but I, some of them are like I didn't have a great system and some of them are like mislabeled, so I need to go back and fix that. Oh, it's heavy. 
Okay, I'm very excited about this. This is from Nature Mill, and I'm going to be milling my own flour. Um, how it works is you put wheat berries inside of it, and it will grind it into fresh ground flour. Um, I've been working on purchasing food in bulk so that we have less, have, we don't have to make as many trips to the grocery store, and also because a lot of times it's more affordable if you buy it in bulk. But um, I did some research, and from what I read, buying flour and storing it can be kind of difficult because it doesn't stay fresh. You can have a lot of issues with bugs. Some people say to put it in the freezer, but we don't have a lot of freezer space because we bought meat in bulk this year, and we have one freezer in addition to the one on our um, fridge. So, and it's almost full. So <laughs> we're not going to go that route. I just I looked into. Um, getting wheat berries and grinding it into your own flour and there's also um, a ton of health benefits for doing this and I will link a um, video below that will kind of walk you through the health benefits of grinding your own flour at home. So um, I haven't used this yet and I'm going to hopefully get to try it out later today but um, I've heard great things about it and it seems like it's relatively simple to use. Um, these are an investment, but I think if you are planning on doing a lot of baking and want to make a lot of your bread products at home, it will pay itself off over time. So, um, these are hard white wheat berries that I will be using primarily for making bread. Um, one of my goals is to learn sourdough this fall. I, um, am so intimidated by it for some reason. I know that most people say it's not too hard, but it seems like speaking another language, but I had heard that these are great for making bread. So um, I bought a 25 pound bag of it and I will link everything below so that you can see um, exactly what it is that I ordered. Um, this was more expensive than the soft white wheat berries like per pound um, and I'm not exactly sure why but I went ahead and got 50 pounds of the soft white wheat berries because it was really inexpensive and I will be using the soft white wheat berries for making um baked goods this is so heavy y'all yeah i'm just <laughs> um for making like pastries um i think i can use it for pancakes we eat a lot of pancakes and um just like things that would require like a lighter fluffier um flour than what you would use for um bread and i think you can mix them like do half and half to make um bread. I'm going to have to report back on that. Eventually I would love to get some einkorn wheat berries because I've heard that it's a lot easier to digest. Um, it doesn't have as much of a gluten content in it, but that was a lot more expensive. And so I thought I'll practice with these and eventually maybe invest in some einkorn wheat berries. And there's so many different grains that you can grind in this, but I'm going to start with basics for now. And then the last bucket is, I believe it's Yep, 10 pounds of organic um, penne pasta. So um, I like to keep pasta on hand because it's such a quick meal. We like to make homemade Alfredo sauce. Um, I recently used that with gnocchi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, penne is something that everyone in my family loves. It's really versatile. Um, it goes well with like, red sauce, white sauce, um, Cajun sauce. <laughs> and there's just so many things, even just with plain butter. So. Um, I wanted to have that on hand so that I can pull from it for some quick, easy meals. So I'm going to go ahead and store these. Um, I'll show you kind of my system for how I store it for um, both in my working pantry for weekly use and then in long-term storage for um, to pull from throughout the year. So the first thing that I'm doing before putting any of the food away is writing what I am storing inside of the Mylar bag. So um, I'm labeling it on the bags and also I will show you in a minute how I label it directly on the bucket so that I don't have to open it up to see what it is. Um, so I, I think I forgot to record this part, but I um, dumped the 20 pound or 25 pound bag of wheat berries um, into the Mylar bag in the bucket and I filled it a little bit too full so I scooped some out and then I put it in a smaller mylar bag that I will keep in my um, 
working pantry for weekly use. Um, eventually I would love to get some nice glass containers to store them in, but I honestly have a really small kitchen and don't have a lot of extra space to store um, glass jars like that. So for now, I'm going to just put them in these Mylar bags and then I can store it um, in one of my cabinets below. Okay, these are called oxygen absorbers and you want to make sure that you purchase the right size. So these are a five gallon um, oxygen or four or five gallon buckets and you just drop them in and then I am trying to get out as much air as possible and am sealing um, the, the Mylar bag. These are Ziploc ones, so I'm just gonna go ahead and seal that across, make sure there's no gaps and in a minute I will seal it with heat to make sure that it has an even stronger seal. Um, I will be storing these in our root cellar and I um, have heard some people don't use the Mylar bags when they're using it um, throughout the year, but our cellar has um, some humidity issues and just has a fairly strong smell and so I want to try to keep it as fresh as possible um, until we can find a solution for that. Um, which honestly it's almost a hundred years old so that's probably just part of it but I just feel better having it really secure in there okay um, same thing trying to get out as much air as possible and sealing it up Okay, so I had Carson help me with the 50 pound bag because I knew that I would spill it all over. Um, so I just held the Mylar bag for him and he helped me dump it in. Um, this one was really big, so I had to divide it into two bags and then I'm going to have to get a fourth bucket to store it in. Um, and then I still had extra to use in my working pantry. So I think 50 pounds will go a long ways. I really need to start baking more often um, to use some of this up. These bags were really tall and didn't quite fit in the bucket. So I ended up folding them down and packing them inside. Okay, um, so these are the um, food grade buckets from a different angle and I'm just writing in a Sharpie what is inside of them. Um, these are items that I think I'll use over and over so I was okay with writing it directly on the bucket but if you think you'll be switching out the items regularly you could use tape or something so that it's not as permanent. next thing that I'm doing is sealing the bags um, you can buy a special tool but I've found that just using a hair straightener works um, this gets the bag to seal together so that it um, will stay extra fresh um, so I'm just sealing it across something that I never really imagined I would be doing <laughs> my husband helped me put the gamma seal lids on the buckets and we'll take them to the root cellar for long-term storage Thank you so much for watching friends. I hope that this was helpful if you are thinking about ordering from Azure Standard. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would click that subscribe button and I will be sharing more slow living and urban homesteading content soon. Thanks so much. Bye.